Hi, today I will talk about the new Olympus mirrorless camera, Pen EPL7. For those of you who do not know yet, mirrorless camera is a type of camera on which you can exchange lenses, but the camera by itself is usually very small. For comparison, here's a normal DSLR. Even if you do not want to exchange lenses, there is a good reason to buy a camera like this. Penlight 7 has a pretty big sensor and in cameras big sensor is a good thing. The, be the bigger the sensor, the better image quality, especially in low light. Also with a big sensor it is easier to get shallow depth of field. If you do not know, this is when you, for example, take portraits and the face of a person is sharp and everything behind is blurred. The main new feature of this camera is downward tilting LCD. Olympus realized that people look better on images, on selfies, when you take a photo in which you look at the LCD which is below the lens rather than above it, like it was the case with previous pen light model. LCD has a 3 inches diagonal, what is a modern standard, and very high dot count, 1 million of them. Viewing quality is excellent, very detailed and with perfect viewing angles. This is a touch LCD, but still it does not support multi-touch. That's not a big problem in our eyes, but this is a feature that should be standard in 2014. Battery is a lithium unit, strong enough for around 300 shots, what is average for this type of camera. It is recharged in external charger. A detail to point out is autofocus speed, which is really fast, as you can see comparable to big DSLR cameras of the same price category. Who likes to shoot pets or sports will appreciate aim 8 frames per second continuous shooting. Penlight 7 is, let's say, a medium range mirrorless camera. It is completely fat packed with advanced features, but still it has full automatic exposure mode and art filters which are similar to that found on, let's say, Instagram. Using this camera is fairly easy. Often used features are in quick menu and everything else is in the main menu. That one is packed with advanced features and it will take some time to get used to it. Penlight 7 doesn't have a built-in flash, but still you get a small one in the retail package. It is attached using this hot shoe connector, so you can also attach something more serious. There are no major downsides of this camera. We want to point out the non-standard USB connector and also this down tilting LCD, as good as it is for taking selfies, it is equally bad when you record videos, let's say for YouTube. When you put the camera on the tripod, you simply cannot see the LCD. Image quality is on a high level. Big 4 thirds image sensor gives really splendid shots in daylight and thanks to good optical stabilization and sensor performance, you can comfortably shot in by night under the street lights. Penlight 7 also records videos in Full HD at 30 frames per second. Video quality is not bad, but we think it is not the best possible. In this category, Sony and Panasonic cameras have better video, better looking video. For the end, Penlight 7 gets our recommendation. This is quite a capable little camera. It works great with a kit lens, but only when you buy something better, let's say 45mm 1.8, you will realize how good this camera actually is it can deliver image quality comparable to professional cameras. If you want to know more about Pen Light 7, head over to Camera Hoarder's YouTube channel. This is my personal YouTube channel on which I made a more detailed uh, review of this camera. That's all for this review. Thanks for watching and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel.